Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Um, this video, I'm going to be doing my opinion of the top 25 uh, basketball YouTubers. Um, this list might be diff way different from everybody else's uh, list. Um, just so y'all guys know, I'm not going to do video clips of everybody because that would have been, it probably been a longer video. So I'm just going to um, explain all these, like, list all the players that I have on my list and, um, do like a screenshot of the the people and um I put the names on the screen so you know who to look for if you need to look for if you don't know who they is who they are or whatever and um let's get right into the video and let me know um if this list is not accurate if y'all feel like it should be changed a little bit uh somebody should be diff put in different spots on this list and um would you give me your opinion because this is my opinion of the list of top basketball YouTubers and so I just thought I'd I said I wasn't going to do a video like this. I wasn't going to get into it because it's like a lot of basketball YouTubers that have been doing this. And um, I'm not considering myself as a basketball YouTuber. Not quite because I'm not on that same level as everybody else as far as like um, uh, fan base wise. Like I play basketball. I played before back in the day and I still play now. But I'm just saying like I don't have like that huge fan base like all the rest of these guys have but i hope to get there someday but no let's get to the video let's start by just talking um number 25 i got duke dennis um duke dennis ain't been showing me too much other than uh, he can uh dunk um uh he can he got a little bit of game in him stuff like that but i, I just can't see him being no higher than 25 on my list so um I don't know. I, it's not too much I can say about him. For I like his game, uh, he's a decent. He's a decent player. I'm not gonna lie about that. Everybody on this list is like good. I'm not gonna say anybody on this list is sorry, but I put them in different uh, categories. Not categories, but like certain numbers on this list because of everybody else that's on this. Whoa. Let me slow down. Okay, Duke Dennis. Like I was saying. Um, I only seen a few of his videos. Uh, I think I'm subscribed to him, but I don't watch a lot of his videos or whatever. But from what I see, I just can't see him, you know, being no top 10, top 15, nothing like that. So that's why I got my 25. If you think I, if you think anything different, let me know. At 24, Chris Staples, uh, he's sort of like Duke Dennis, but uh, he's probably a better scorer, a better shooter than Duke Dennis. Um, Chris Staples, you know, most of his videos, he just like doing little dunk contest uh playing dunk horse or whatever like that but um i haven't seen a whole lot of his uh uh five on five or one v ones um i seen a few on the playmakers uh channel um check those guys out if you get a chance to but yeah uh, uh i just don't see a whole lot in chris staple that made me feel like he should be higher on this list um it's just my opinion i don't you know that I can't make this up. I just that's just how I feel about the whole situation. You know, about him being number twenty-four. So, if y'all feel like he should be high, say so. Uh, Kenny Chow, I got him higher than Duke Dennis and Chris Staples because uh, Kenny can actually ball. Um, like he got some nice nice handles. Uh, he can shoot the ball pretty good, pretty good. He's real quick and shifty with the ball. But outside of that, uh, he doesn't show me much of what he can do on the court, really. Um, I just recently started watching him a lot lately after I seen him play uh, Flight 1v1. Um, like I said, he, he, can pretty, he, pretty, he can ball pretty good. He's pretty good. Um, but yeah, Kenny Chow, uh, he's about 5'9", 5'10", so he can't dunk and nothing like that. Well, i never seen him dunk, but I'm not sure. If he dunk or not, I'm not going to say that he can't dunk if I haven't seen him dunk. But, um, yeah, I can't. I don't think I can put him in high on this list after all the, especially with all the guys I got on my list. Like, when I get to all these guys, it's like up in the top 10, top uh, five. Y'all will understand why I got him this slow on the list. Uh, next, we got Hoop and Life. Uh, I forgot what his real name is, but, um, like, this guy, he probably like the same height. It's Kenny Child, but he's a little bit smaller, but he can get up, he can jump, he can dunk the ball, uh, he can shoot, he can handle the ball. Uh, he actually plays, uh, I don't know if he still plays or not, uh, overseas. Um, so he's a professional ball player, whatever like that. 
And y'all probably wonder why I got a professional ball player this low on this list. But like I was saying, when I get up in the top 10, top five, you will understand why some of these guys that are pretty good are in the 15 and under number of this list. And you will understand why when I get a little high on this list. But um, Hooping Life, he's a pretty good player. Um, I seen some of his 1v1s. He, he doesn't play against trash players for real. He probably have against a few of trash, trash players. But uh, overall, like he's, he's real decent. He, uh, he's real tough to guard, I can see, by most of the 1v1s I've seen of him and stuff. So um, go check him out. Let me know what you think about him. And uh, if you think he should be high on this list, let me know. Famous Lowe's. Uh He's at number 21 because... Mainly because of his defense. I, I haven't seen a lot of his defense other than his uh, high school highlights that I see him react to. Uh, I think it was like last year, early this year or whatever. But as far as like his 1v1s and um, 5v5, I ain't seen a whole lot of defense out of him. But like he can score the ball, he can handle the ball. But sometimes he make bad decisions like far as like passing or dribbling. It's like he overthinks sometimes. Um, let me know what y'all think about that as far as like my opinion on that, which it is my opinion, so I can say what I feel like, feel like I should say about um, about his play style and stuff. But I'm not gonna say he's not a bad, play, that he's not a good player. He's a good player and all in all, but you know, like I said, he uh, makes a lot of mistakes with the ball. He can handle the ball. Um, he lacks a lot in defense. Uh, he lacks in size too, so he can get abused a lot on on the other side of the ball. So, um, do I got like, famous low at number 21? So, uh, let's go to the next one. Uh, Nick Bree, Nick Briz or Breeze? I think it's Briz. Yeah, Nick Briz. I got him at number 20. Um, all I like to say is this guy has crazy bounce. I'll tell my like this guy's like what 5'10, 5'11, but he has. I, it gotta be over 40 inch vertical. Gotta be, got to be over 40 inch vertical. This guy could jump out of the gym. But outside of that, he hasn't shown, I haven't seen much out of his, his game other than he could dunk. Um, he can shoot a little bit. His shot is kind of unorthodox or whatever like that, but he can make some pretty good shots. Um, a lot of guys he played against that, I, that, I, that I've seen so far was uh, he go to different parks and wrecks or like that. Um, most of the guys he playing against are not that skilled. Uh, their IQ is not that high, so it's not like he's playing against top tier uh, competition stuff like that. So he's not. He's like he's out there just playing around, fooling around, just getting the easy dunks and stuff. But a lot of the guys he played against, um, they get mad at him, try to rough him up because he does all these dunks and stuff like that. But um, like. Uh, he got he got pretty good defense too. He he really does. I seen him get a lot of steals and stuff. Some of these uh some of his games he played, but outside of it, like I said, outside of his dunking and stuff, I don't see a whole lot in this game that made me put him higher on this list. But like I said, like everybody on this list, like they are legit ballers. I'm not gonna take that away from nobody on this list. Um, so check out Nick Briz. Nick yeah Nick Briz. I'm gonna say Nick Briz. Check out Nick Briz and let me know what you think about him. Uh, and comment below what you think about his position on this list. So, Luminati. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people have this guy so high on their list, mainly because the other people on their list were actually worse than him. Uh, not gonna lie about that. But on my list, he's not gonna be no top 10, top five, top three, nothing like that, because he's not as good He's not better than the guys that are higher than him. So I could be wrong on a couple of the guys that's above him, but you know, y'all comment below, let me know what y'all think about that. But um, he's a lefty, he's about 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, uh, his style is kind of like, I can't describe who he plays like really, because he got a style all of his own. Um, he, he can handle the ball, but he's not, like when you watch him play, it's like he don't take the game serious. Like he he play against, um, I ain't seen him play against like top level players really. Not that I think about, it. and I, I really haven't. I haven't seen him play against guys that's like either in the league. I used to play in the league. I play overseas or um, D one, D two, D three material, and then like that. 
Um, so he hasn't been showing me much, but I can say he, he can play. He played in high school. I think they say he played in D1 um, college, but um, I haven't seen the highlights from that. I probably should look that up. Maybe I can do a reaction on that. But um, he hasn't been showing me much to put him high on this list. Uh, he can shoot a little bit. Um, he can dunk, of course. He's 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, he can dunk. Um, defense, uh, it's okay. It's okay. But uh, other than that, he's not like no mind blowing player. Everybody else got these guy, got this, has this guy on their top five, on their top five in their list, whatever. But I can't, I can't do it on this list. I have, I can't do it. I really can't. Soft Delgado. This guy, I haven't seen him on nobody's list that I've been seeing on YouTube the past week or so. Um, like this guy is quick with the ball. He's real shifty. He can pass the ball. He can shoot the ball and he has pretty decent defense and he can jump. Uh, he's not like no high flyer, but he can dunk with him like that. So put it like that. Um, uh, my guy, him at 18, he, like, I feel like he's better than Suluminati because, um, he can play, play you one-on-one, -on -one, like in a pickup game. He can do like little ISO, stuff like that, but he can also be a team player too. I haven't seen that in Soluminati. I seen a lot of his 1v1. I ain't seen a whole lot of pickup game like recently on, on this channel. But um uh Sauce Delgado, like he, he's real, he's real good. Man. Like he play real good. Um like I watched a lot of his YouTube YouTube videos lately. I just started recently watching him the past few months. Um, because I see him on uh, Tyler Guy's channel uh, with uh, Chark and stuff like that. Cause I think they are from the same area down in Atlanta, but they in California. I think I think South Dakota was still still in Atlanta right now. But um, if y'all don't know who this guy is, make sure y'all look him up. It's South Delgado. Check him out. Uh, let me know what y'all think about him and if he should be high on this list. Uh, number seventeen, uh, DC Heat. He's probably the youngest on my list, I think. I might be wrong, but no, I think he is the youngest. I think he just, uh, not getting out of high school, where it just ended because, well, they canceled school because of the pandemic, but that's not what we're talking about here. But, um, yeah, DC Heat, this guy, like, I first I watched him a couple of years ago, um, he wasn't that tall, but like now he's like, I think he's like 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, everybody thinks he's like 6'7", but he's not. He's not that tall. He just looks tall because everybody he's playing against are like not even six foot. So that's why he looks so tall in his videos. But um, like I can tell the past couple of years, he got a whole lot better basketball for us. Like his handling, um, his toughness. Like he's been driving a whole lot lately. Um, he can take contact. Uh, but he's not that strong, but he still can take contact and not back down from competition stuff like that. He been playing against a lot of good guys that's on YouTube. Like he played against Devontae Frigga. Uh I think he played, I think he beat him one of those games they played. Um, a lot of other guys that play on the YouTube, in the YouTube community, uh, play against some competition. not playing against no scrubs and that like that. And I, oh, I forgot one video he played, he uh, played in on his on his channel. This one guy is like 16, but he was like killing. Like the dude was awesome. I can't remember his name was on his channel. Um, but go check, go check out DC Heat and let me know what y'all think about him being on this list as number 19. So he's in my top 20, so I, he's better than all these other guys that I already named so far. Um, he might not be better than Nick Briz because Nick Briz, uh, no, never mind. He's better than Nick Briz. I don't care nobody to say. Uh, DC Heat can handle the ball, he can shoot, he can jump, he plays defense. So he's a team player, plus he played for his high school team. Um, and um, I'm not sure what he's gonna do after this for us, like when um, this virus thing clears out, if he's gonna play overseas or anything like that. He should, I feel like he should either play overseas or go to college and play ball. So um, just comment below what you think about uh, DC Heat. Max is nice, like this dude, like, I, I haven't seen a whole lot of his 1v1s, but uh, I seen him play a pickup game. Actually, he put on his YouTube channel. I think somebody else posted it. Uh, he played down in my hometown of Tuscaloosa, Alabama um, at the UA Rec Center where he was doing some um, some uh, recordings for his channel. Then he played a few pickup games, something like that. Uh, he can play, like he can shoot, he can dribble. Um, I don't think he can jump, really. 
but um, he's a decent player. Um, they can play like he's a decent point guard. I think he played in college too. I think he did. I'm quite sure he played in high school. I'm trying to think if he played in college or not. I'll look it up. But um, if I do find it, I'll post it on the screen somewhere right here. B dot A dot. Um, like this guy actually did play. I think he played overseas or something like that. Our college ball. Um, I think he actually played in the G League. I think. I think he played in the G League a couple of years ago. Um, like this guy has a nice jumper. I'm like when he when he hits like two three in a row, it's over with. Like he he can shoot. He can shoot. Um, he can handle the ball. And he he does a lot of impersonations on, of NBA players too as well. So. Um, Y'all probably seen his videos, stuff, what he be doing um, on this channel. But um, I ain't seen him play a lot of 1v1, but I see him play like in um, celebrity all-star games at the NBA All-Star, um, some other uh, celebrity games, stuff like that. And um, that's why I feel like he's top 20 material on my list uh, for us basketball YouTubers. Okay, we got T-Jazz. Uh, he could be high on this list, but when I, I think when I get up to the top 10 and five, you will understand why he's this low. Mainly because um, he's young, he's short. Um, he hasn't shown a lot on the defensive side when I see him play uh, 1v1s and pick up games and stuff like that. But like, dude has crazy handles. Uh, I, I can actually see him playing like in uh, the and one situation, stuff like that. I don't know if they still do and one and one, and one mixtapes. Um, I don't know if they still do that, but I can see him. Mm, I don't know about a Harlem Globe try to maybe because he does a lot of trick shots and stuff like that. But I can see him with the, those guys. Uh, do perfect. I can see him with those guys. Uh, most of his videos are basically just doing like crazy layups, crazy crick, crazy crick. Was it crick? Crazy trick shots and um. Uh, but yeah, watching what he won the pickup games, like he has he has game. And um I haven't seen a whole lot of passing out of him in his pickup games, really. He does a lot of scoring. Um so will he be like if he's a player in college, if y'all know who I'm talking about, um, y'all think he would be a good point guard or sugar. I feel like he'd be like a combo guard. He can handle the ball, but for it's like his passing and stuff he probably can pass but i don't know if he's, he's not like a true point guard put it like that uh he's more of like a scorer but um enough talking about him let's go to the next person which is austin mills austin mills this guy played for baylor university now this guy can legit ball like he he has mad handles he can shoot when he's on he's on um he's a team player he, he, he can pass the ball, he can play point guard pretty good. Um, he's a good guy you can pick in the 505, uh, like in an uh, organized setting that knows how to play the game. Not just go out there and hoop or whatever like that, but know how to go out there and play the game the right way. He has a great, a high IQ, and um, like he doesn't, he doesn't shy away from nobody. I see him play in the Drew League, he was killing when I say he was killing in the Drew League, he was killing. I I, I seen, I just, I actually, I just watched it a couple of days ago. Um, he was killing the Drew League. But yeah, Austin Mills, he's that guy. He, like, he can play. He can legit ball. But um, trying to keep this video rolling, so let's go to the next player. LSK. LSK, um, I'm not going to get flamed in the comments on this because he's not in the top 10 or top 5 at all. A lot of guys got him at number one on that list, mainly because of the players that they have under him on that list, period. That's why they had number one. Um, he's not number one on my list. He's not in the top 10 on my list because um, I just feel like he's not better than the players that's above him on his list, which, like I said, will make sense when I get up here in the top 10, top five, you will understand what I'm talking about. Um, he's 6'9", six, 6'10", six, can handle the ball. Uh, he can shoot. Um, he can dunk, of course, he can dunk 6'9", 6'10". Um, but I don't see him, he's 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 a team player, like, but in the sense of uh, making his teammates better, I haven't seen a lot of that. He, well, he's not a guard anyway, but he has kind of like guard-like skills that make sense. 
Uh, like I said, he can, handle, he can handle the ball a little bit for his size, but um, I just see a whole lot of him that could be utilized better for like his size, his height. Uh, I have seen him post a whole lot in his uh, 1v1s, uh, pickup games. He does a lot of shooting. Uh, he drives a lot. He's a slasher a little bit, but he's not all that quick, but he gets to where he needs to get because of his uh, length and his, you know, foot in here, like his stride, stuff like that. He has long foot strides. Uh, if that makes sense, y'all know what I'm talking about. But um, I just couldn't put him no higher than number 12, really. All right, next we got Marcellus Howard. Um, this guy actually played in college. Um, I think they did play overseas, anything like that. Um, I'm not sure if I if I find any kind of info on that, I'll put it on the screen. But um, the backyard legend, like this guy is shifty with the ball. When I say he's shifty, um, this guy can get the way he want to get at any time, any time, any time. Just, I don't know what to say about that, but like this guy, he's real quick. He's left-handed, he can shoot. He's real crafty with the ball. Um, he has nice, he has decent defense. I'm not gonna say he's like, uh, he's not a clamp guard and then like that. Uh, he, uh, he's a lockdown defender, but he has pretty good defense. He has good defensive IQ. Um, he's a pretty decent player. I'm not gonna say decent, he's a great player. I, if I had to play pickup ball and see him on sideline, I'll pick him up. No question that, I'll pick him up. But, um, but yeah, this guy, um, I got him this high because, uh, super fact, if you put him in a five on five situation, like he know how to play, he know how to, you know, get out of that uh, backyard uh, basketball 1v1 uh, mindset and play legit organized basketball and run a team. He's a pretty good point guard that know how to play the game, uh, can read the defense, can pa pass the ball at the right time. Uh, score when he needs to score and stuff like that. So that's why I'm having this high on this list. Bone collector. The reason I'm having this high on this list because um, he played in the N one mixtape. Um, he's still doing his thing, playing what he wants, but he could be higher. But I can't put him higher than this because I haven't seen a lot of, out of him in, on defense. Um, and plus his moves, like he do, it's like he does the same moves. Like every time I watch his 1v1s and stuff like that, his pickup games, um, I see the same moves all the time. Like this guy is so predictable because, um, like I said, he did and one. He did the same moves he did playing and one that he does now in his 1v1s. Um, except for a lot of the travel stuff he did playing and one mixtape stuff. But, um, like he he has no why I, I can watch the videos but I can't watch the videos I watch it because it's basketball but I, I can't watch it because I pretty much know what he's gonna do so that's why I can't put him no higher than ten I have him this high because like it's hard to guard this guy that like he he's really quick his hesitation is one of the best I've ever seen in my life but like I said. His game is kind of predictable, so you know what he's gonna do. If you've been studying him and watching for a long time, you pretty much know what he's gonna do. And also another player that played uh, and one and still doing a lot of 1v1s. Uh, I ain't seen a lot of pickup games lately. It's the professor. Um, he's he's right beside Bone Clip because, like I said, uh, well, his ball handling is real tight too, just like Bone Clip, but like, He's not too predictable like the Bone Collector is. Um, I can watch more of his videos more than I can watch Bone Collector's videos because sometimes you never know, the professor might might change his game up and do different moves that you haven't seen yet because he's so he's so smart with the ball. And he It's like he got it on the string. He does anything he want to do with the ball. It's hard to steal it from him. Um, but a lot of the 1v1s he played before uh, that I've seen well, against trash players, I'm not gonna lie. Like he go to Venice Beach and play against bums out there and stuff like that. Like I haven't seen him play against a whole lot of good comp outside of him playing and one or whatever like that. So that's why I got my number nine. Uh, he's in the same category with Bone Collector. My throat was getting dry. I need some of drink. Hold on. But yeah, the professor. Um, I don't know if I said it yet, but his defense. I haven't seen too much of his defense for real. Um. Outside of that, you know, I just ain't nothing I can say about him for real. Like, he's a real good ball player. 
I feel like he can get the job done if you put him at a five on five uh, organized game setting where he can't do all that crazy dribbling and shit and, um, and one moves to like that. I feel like he can get the job done for like being a good point guard on the court. Number eight, this guy, I just started recently watching him. Uh, he just started popping up in my recommendation list uh, a few weeks ago. Um, J Law B Ball. Um, he's a trainer. But I, I, I know he probably played overseas or something like that back in the day. Um, or whenever. Uh, this guy, he's a lefty. He's real quick with the ball. He's real shifty. Um, he's strong. Um, he can jump a little bit. Um, he can shoot. Um, I have him this high because... Um, like I'm going to explain this right now. Guys that's up on a higher level on this list, I put him up there because... They either play organized ball regularly, or if you put them in that organized ball situation, you know for a fact that they will get a job done. That's why I have this list made up like this. So um, as I get high in this list, you understand what I'm talking about. Um, like I said, he's, he's a trainer, he's a basketball trainer. Um, he, he's, his IQ is off the chart. Um, he know how to do different moves to uh, attack the defenders and stuff like that. So um, check him out if you want to uh, be younger guys that want to get better at like ball handling or um, organized stuff like that basketball wise. Um, just check out check out his channel and let me know what you think about him too in the comments below. Y'all finna get mad at me with this one, AJ Lepray. Y'all probably wondering why he's not in the top five on my list at all. Um, for a lot of reasons. Um, I'm gonna start off with the good things. He's a real good player. He played, um, he played D1 ball. He played for Rice. Uh, I think he played, I think he's gonna try, he's gonna try for the uh, G League coming up whenever we get, uh, like I said, this pandemic thing cleared out of the way, whatever like that. But, um, like he's still doing a lot of YouTube videos, like playing one v ones, uh, pickup games. Uh, from what I see in this game, um, he's a knockdown shooter. Um, he's a kind of average defender. Um, he can handle the ball, very good handle the ball, but he's not. He's not one of those blow by you at the blink of an eye type player. Uh, so like that, he's six five. Um, he has height on him. He has the NBA body on him already. Well, I'm gonna say already, like he's like 15, something like that. But um, you know what I mean. But um, if he was to play in the NBA, of course he wouldn't be a starter right away. Uh, I can see him making a roster, maybe. But um, he would probably be like a um, maybe a shooting guard uh, slash small four or something like that. I can't see him as a point guard. You know he can handle the ball. Uh, he can pass a little bit, but I just can't see him as a point guard. He's a shooting guard. Um, I've seen some of his uh, college highlights, and he's a he's pretty much a shooting guard. Shooting guard slash small forward that scores a lot. So he's, like, he's not like a defensive-minded guard. He's an uh, offensive guard that loves to score, but I feel like he could uh, pass the ball pretty pretty decently. Is that a word? Anyway, don't forget I said that. Um, he can pass the ball when he needs to and make the right plays, but I feel like his mindset is score first anyway, so that's why I can't see him as a point guard, really. My boy, Devontae Frieger. I got him higher. I got him above AJ LaPrey because, for one, that's my boy. That's my my, my, book, my bro right there. Um, he's a little bit shorter than him. He's about my height, by 6'2", 6'3". Um... I feel like Devontae is quicker than AJ. Like, especially in the triple threat position, like Devontae's first step is crazy. Like the past couple of years, I've been watching him. His first step has got like crazy quick. And uh, he's really, he's got shifty with the ball as well. He might be shiftier than AJ. A lot of people are saying AJ is better than Devontae. Um, I don't know. It's I just I can't wait to see them play one on one. Hopefully they can play one on one sooner or later, so we can get this out of the way and figure out who's the better um, 
ball player between those, between those two. Uh, Devontae, he's a real, real good shooter. You leave him open, it's pretty much automatic. He's gonna make it every time. Um, he's a slasher. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna say I'm sorry. He played for University of Mount Union in Ohio. Uh, he's so he, there's a D3 school, but next year he's gonna be playing overseas. Um, I actually I'm still watching his, his channel. Um, he actually just built a court on his dad's property. And like, I'm telling you, if you haven't seen this guy, go to his channel, check him out. This guy, like he's amazing. Like he, his, his growth in the YouTube community is just crazy. But um, back to the basketball side of this. Um, he's a great player. He's, he's one of those guys that has a high IQ and he loves to score. But he can pass the ball. He can play. He can play the point guard. I, I put it like that. He can play the point guard. He will pass the ball when he needs to pass the ball. And um, like I said, he's a real good scorer. His first step is crazy. Um, he can jump. He will dunk on you. He's he's not scared of contact. He will dunk on anybody if he has to, if he has to by any means necessary. Um, I just feel like this guy is better than AJ LePray in my opinion. Like I said, my opinion. If you feel like you should be high on this list, let me know. But I'm going to keep on going on with this list. I wish the video won't be too long. We're, oh my God, we are already 35 minutes into this video. Wow. But anyway, uh, let's keep going. Jay Jones, this guy, he, I can see him as an NBA point guard, but he's kind of small. He's probably like 5'8", 5'9", maybe 5'10", maybe I don't know. But his game reminds me of like Will Bynum. They used to play in the NBA. The uh, reason I say because he's like he's probably about the same size, really. But um, he can handle the ball real good. He's, he's real quick. Uh, his pull-up mid-range game is stupid. When I say it's stupid, it's stupid. Put your hand down, man down. That's all I got to say. He's a knockdown shooter. Uh, his defense is pretty good. He's real quick with his hands, quick on his feet, and stuff like that. And um, just check out his channel and uh, let me know if you think you should be high on this list or I should be low on this list. Uh, a lot of people are sleeping on Jay Jones, I'm not gonna lie. Next, we got Filet. Filet, yeah. hey. Filet. Jesse, I think his name Jesse Jones? Jesse James? No, Jesse Jones, I'm sorry. Um, This guy can legit, can legit ball. Like, his build, he's like, he built almost like Baron Davis. He can handle the ball, he can shoot, he can jump, he has crazy bounce. Um, he's tough. This guy can play through contact and finish the ball at the at the basket. Um, this guy, he's a real, real great player. I think he played overseas. I'm not sure if he played college ball. He might have. I'm not sure. I just go by what I've been seeing on his channel. Like I've been seeing like his one v ones and um, um, playing king of the king of the court with some other guys um, on YouTube. And um, this guy, he, he's a legit, he's a legit baller. He love, I can tell, he loves the game. He loves, the, he loves the ball. He hates to lose. I'm the same way. I hate to lose too. But I can tell, he's real passionate of the game. He's passionate. Uh, he's real. He has a real high passion for the game. I'm sorry, my words are getting slurred up because I'm trying to speed through the rest of this video. I want this video to be too long for you guys. Let's go to the next person anyway. So we're in top three right now. So. Which I pay close attention to why these guys on are the last three on my list, the top three on my list. Um, Tyler Ralph. This guy is a serious, serious problem on the court. He's a, he's an automatic bucket. Um, he's real quick. He's one of the he's one of the shiftiest players I've ever seen, and he he's up there in age. I'm not sure how old he is. Um, I'll put on the screen if I, if I, I'm a, if I think about Googling it when I edit, edit this, um, i put on the screen his real age, whatever, cause I think he's a bit, he likes about 30 something. I'm not, I'm not going to cap. He likes about 30 something. But this guy is real quick with the ball and real smart. I haven't seen too many people steal the ball from him and playing his 1v1s and um, uh, King of the Court or whatever. Ouch. Yeah. Uh, but this guy is crazy with the ball like his handles like if you don't know who i'm talking about look him up it's tyler ruff like i said look him up he's a basketball trainer um for a lot of these nba players and high school college players stuff like that and um it's not a whole lot to say about it like i said this dude 
like I was saying, Tyler Ruff, this guy is um uh, I I wouldn't want to guard him, but I I I guard anybody the way I am. I, I'm not scared to guard anybody, but he would definitely give me problems. So like I said, look this guy up. You you, you see what I'm talking about. Number two, we got DJ Sackman. He's right up there with Tyler Ruff for us, like ball handling, um, high IQ, real quick with the ball, real shifty. He's, he's also a trainer too. He trains a lot of pro players and uh, overseas players, stuff like that. Um, he's real smart with the ball too. Like a lot of his moves that he demonstrates, um, they look difficult, but when you try them out and see them and see how he does them when he do it like full speed, you'll be like, yeah, that move is hard. It's hard to stop. Like this dude is crazy with his moves and stuff like that. A lot of these moves he be like showing is like moves you never seen before. I'm like dead ass serious. Like you got players in the NBA that can handle the ball real good and stuff like that. But DJ Sackman, this guy, him and Tyler Ruff, they have handles like never like you never seen before. And um a lot of these guys in the NBA, you it probably got their moves from these guys anyway. So these guys are le like legit the real deal. <clears throat> That's why I had them at number two, number three spot on this list. And so now, at number one, this guy, like, I first watched his one. His, his first time I seen him on the video was like three, four years ago. Might be uh, longer than that. Place about a one on one. This dude had on a hoodie, a cap to the back, some sweats, and I, I thought he was somebody drunk uncle that was about to fall on his ass. But I seen him do a move where he was dribble between his legs, did a hezzy, a half spin. I think he did another hezzy, like into a shot. The dude jumped to block the shot. He spun with the ball. And took off for a layup. I'm talking about he did it so fast. I had to keep rewinding like four or five times to see what he actually did. To make sure he didn't travel in there like that. But Dev in the lab. Straight bucket. Straight bucket. <clears throat> Not only can he handle the ball, he can shoot. Um, he can pass the ball. But I don't see, I ain't seen too many people that can actually lock him down. Like, I guess I've seen people that can stop him you know, from time to time. But not like on the straight up just lock down, stop him, like period. Um, there's nobody perfect in this basketball world at all. So it's not like he's he's like, like the god of basketball world like that. But I got him at number one because um, he has tight handles. Um, he know how to play the game. Uh, he's a trainer as well. Um, like this dude is amazing with the basketball. That's why I got my number one because he's one of my favorite YouTubers as far as like basketball wise I like to watch. Um, the main ones I like to watch is him, Devontae Friga, um, who else I like to watch? Uh, Austin Mills, uh, Marcellus How Howard, and a few others um, that I like to watch all the time. But this dude will get, in he will give anybody on this list buckets. No lie. He will give anybody, anybody on this list, like, he'll give them buckets. I don't care what anybody say, hands down. But uh, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, hit the like button. Make sure you turn the blue. Um, the subscribe button, hit it, please. And until next time, it's your boy King Smooth, and I'm out. Stay smooth, stay blessed. I'm out.